Nothing like camping beside a little creek like that. You got the open ocean there behind you. Beautiful blue water. But I tell you what, you gotta have a bit of a feed every now and again. So I've come up with a, a bit of a specialty today and I think you might like it. I'm gonna call it, there's a couple of names for it. We call it a, the fancy name is uh, frittata. So if you guys don't know what a frittata is, because I didn't know until someone told me. Um, I just called it uh, basically an, a veggie egg pie. So we'll call it the veggie egg pie, but we're gonna use sweet potato today. So we're a sweet potato veggie egg pie, or a sweet potato frittata. Now it's really easy to make, but you're gonna need something like this. It's a little pie tray with a removable bottom in it to make it easy to get that little sucker out. Now, you're gonna need things like sweet potato, obviously, because the sweet potato pie, but what I've already done I've blanched up a couple of uh, sweet potato slices, so I've thinly sliced it and I've just blanched it, okay? Again, another one of those fancy names for boiled it up a little bit. So, I'm going to cut up some onion. There we go, that's heaps. So we're going to stick that in our bowl, so everything's going to go in the bowl for now, alright? We need a little bit of garlic, goes well in a pie. So it's a purely vegetable pie, okay? But you can put some meat in it if you want, but I'm just going to put veggies in it. There we go, we'll stick a couple of mushies in. These are already pre-sliced, there we go, that'll do. I've got a bit of coriander here. Shove that in, about that much, that'll do. Um, some five spices, we'll chuck them in, they go down really well. So you can get them out of the, yeah, about that much. Salt and pepper to taste. So just chop up a bit of parsley here, without chopping your finely fingers off. <laughs> Whack that in, leave the rest over there. Alrighty, I'm gonna need some cheese. I'm gonna chuck in a handful of cheese like that. That'll do me for now. Eggs, eight eggs. Let's mix her up. Look at that, that's ah, looking pretty good. There's a fair bit going on in there, so it's gonna be a fairly, you know, sort of hefty pie, which means it's got a lot of goodness in it, a lot of good flavors. Those smells are gonna come out of you, roaring out of your camp oven. People are gonna be hanging around waiting for you to serve it up. Don't forget to grease the pan, otherwise, I tell you what, it's gonna be a frittata from hell. Trying to get it out of this thing. There we go. Alrighty. Right there. Okay, so she's ready to rock and roll. So we're actually gonna put it into the pan. And hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. But first of all, I'm gonna stick half the mixture in. So let's go with half. So that's about half. Right, making sure it doesn't go everywhere, making sure my pan is flat. Then I'm going to grab my um, sweet potato and I'm going to lay it in there like that. There we go, that looks good. And I've got a little bit of broccoli here. I'm just going to pull little bits off like that, just little pieces. That'll do. I'm going to put a little dollop of cream in there, okay, with the top part of the mixture, which will be fine. but. When you do it in the beginning, make sure you put all of it in there, so. All right, now we've got all the all the ingredients. Don't forget the cream. Here we go. We're gonna put the rest of it on top. There we go. Making sure it covers everything up. Remember, this mixture will expand. So that's just enough there. Fill the pie. There we go. That's ready now for the camp oven. And here's the tricky part. Getting this without spilling it and without making a mess that you see under the bottom there, getting this into there. There we go. We're ready to go. Where's my lid? There it is. Oh, that's looking real good. Now we'll take that over to the fire and we'll stick some coals on top and we'll get this sucker cooking. Easy as that. Here we go. So we get some good coals going here. Oh, I reckon she'll be about ready. Oh, she's definitely ready. Got ourselves some pie. All right, 
For those of you in the big smoke, that's a frittata right there, a vegetable frittata. But, but if you're like me and you live out in the bush, that's a pie with veggies in it. So I might get the crew in. Simon and Jesse, you hungry? They're always hungry, so no point me even asking that question. And it'd be just sitting just over over there in the shade, weren't you? Hell yeah, we were. Yeah. Wait for you to finish doing the cooking, mate, as usual. Cooking the pie. Nice work, too. What do you reckon, looks, mate? Looks great. It does That's look good. good, doesn't it? They're always hot, the old pies, aren't they? And there we go. What are we raving on that one? Oh, 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 look, you can see, you can see little bits of sweet potato in there, see? Yeah, I, I like good, it. Eh? This is a good one. Mm. I'd give him an eight. No, it's going to go eight. Yeah. Good call. Mm. Not bad. Ooh, there you go. I get an eight. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Good job. All right, guys. No worries. Well, there you go. If you're looking to cook something up pretty quick and pretty simple, and this too, you can slip this in, cut up like that. You slip it into some clip lock bags, whack it in the fridge, and you'll pull that sucker out tomorrow for smoko, and you watch it disappear. There you go, guys. I hope you like that recipe because there's many more in my new bush cookbook about that much.